Jimmy. Oh, uh, Slitherhead is also another game here. Hey, I think yeah, I think it's more PVE focused, but is it is it more PVE? Eclipse is more PVE focused. Yeah, or no, more, more than Nightingale. Uh, Nightingale, yeah, Nightingale, yeah, more PVE focused. That'd be really cool because if we could just like work together and like burst the environment, that sounds really fun. But like having to deal with everyone coming out and raiding your building, yeah, like raiding you, yeah, like raiding you, like yeah. gosh, man, I'm just kind of I don't have the patience for that anymore. Oh yeah, that's why, because it's the guy that made Silent Hill. That this is still there. This is a new game. So I guess we can now know that um, what is that game we kept talking Blue about? Box. Is Blue Box Blue is not Silent Hills? Not the guy from Silent Hill. We know that much because this is not, the Silent Hill creator's new game. Blue Box suck ass, anyways. You see, they ain't popped up on nobody's radar no more. Yeah, they vanished again. They're silent and died. Good. It's tired of their games. Okay, hooker. Whoa. Okay. A little leech, leech hooker. Whoa. That's oh, quite sure. a transformation. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. He cut that dude in half. <laughs> this looks kind of cool, dude. Blood powers? Jeez. Oh, I would like to see some of the actual real life combat, then maybe I could really get on board with it. It's not really yeah, there's some cool aspects here, yeah, for sure. Yeah, actually, there are some cool aspects here. Slitherhead. Slither I looked turn. over the top. That looked interesting. Yeah, I looked over the top. For yeah, sure. I definitely have to peep that one. That combat looked pretty, pretty interesting. So that's Silent Hill. Oh, more uh, Bungie. Oh, here's the next one. Best action game was Returnal. Mm. I would okay. think that low, but that loop, in my opinion, should have won that. But um, would it be? It's a fine winner. Okay. Hey, can we see the whole, all the competitors in this one? Yeah, best action game. Back for Blood, Chivalry yeah, Far Two, Cry 6. Death Loop, and Far Cry Six. Mm. My opinion, Death Loop should win this game. But yeah. uh, Returnal is a good winner. That would be my runner-up, in my opinion. Get, so get, here, get your blood pumping for sure. Runner up. Huh? Get your blood pumping for sure. Yeah, Returnal. this is a runner-up for sure. But I That was a great action that. game. So Yeah. That's a good runner-up. So I'm fine with it. I'm, I think it's a it's worth That one makes it, sense, versus, dude. Yeah, I like that sense. one. Yeah. So that's Returnal won that category, which is a really good game. And then... uh. Uh, Sonic Frontiers, man. This is the new one. Yeah, here it is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's check this, check this out. Frontiers. That's a great name. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's a good name, isn't it? I'm really, really, yeah, I'm really happy with Sonic. I mean, Sega. I think it's, this is really cool. I think if they had I'm called really it Grass, it would have been cool, too. Like, I haven't played a Sonic game, honestly, like, since Sega. So this would be, like, the first one I'd play because it finally appeals to someone like me. Um, hey, did you ever play yeah. the Dreamcast ones? Adventure, the Sonic Adventure one. I, I think I might have played the Dreamcast one, but it's, it just didn't it didn't pull me in to want to keep playing them after that. I don't think I got a chance to play the Adventure ones. I didn't really uh, stay on the Dreamcast too long. Yeah, this looks really good. It's pretty looking too. See that open world. Mm. Interestante. I think you can have like a lot of cool abilities for Sonic. Like you can give him a lot of neat abilities to fight with. Like you can have a lot of RPG elements. Too. I really think you could. I think Sonic is absolutely able to have like a lot of neat RPG elements. Finding like um, special, finding like the actual rings around the world and stuff like that give you like yeah, you can like uh, hunt for uh, rings and stuff like that. Yeah. yeah. It didn't yeah, really I show us think well, much to give us a good idea of what we're seeing here, but, you know. Hmm. No, but you just tell that it's like an open-world Sonic game. Hmm. And I think that's a great direction to go to. It's a really good idea. Okay. i have to see okay. some more of that one. So that's the new Sonic game, Sonic Frontiers. Oh, Cuphead has a DLC. I don't know if you guys want to watch that mm-hmm. or not. Nah, we could pass um, that one. There's a Cuphead music performance. Oh, Probably gonna want to watch yeah, this. Yeah, watch Meagle yeah, story. You gotta watch this new column finally coming out. 
They've been working on this one for a cool minute, right? Yeah, they've been working on this one for a while. This has got to be a pretty good game. I think this has got to yeah. be. This has got to be a good one. My precious. Ugly motherfucker. Yeah, I think they made them even more ugly in this in the movies. Yeah, but they made them kind of look cartoony. They could. Yeah, I was gonna say that. Real. It looks like a younger Golem or something. Yeah, he does look younger. You're right. You're right. Yeah, he does look younger. That's actually more so what it would be. Yeah. He he doesn't look like he's been through shit. Like his addiction hasn't really quite quite kicked in full max. You know. Dang, dude, that's all they show us. They still that look dope, this thing, dude. <laughs> uh. What happened? that looks cool at least. I mean, it does. I'm wondering, I mean, like, no. This game has been in production for so long. I thought we were gonna finally get some actual gameplay. Finally, is this is this gonna be like a requiem? Yo, what's good, Joe? Uh, is this gonna be like a um a what's plague sale uh, though? Like where you gotta like sneak around and then like I think trigger so. traps and different shit like I that. Think, I don't know. Pretty cool because so. he can't yeah. really fight fight. So that might yeah, be you can't really get up in there and fight. I think it's gonna be good. I think it's gonna be good. I mean, like I some type of tactical strategy type of game. Oh, here you go. Right. Um, best mobile game, Geshin Impact, which we voted, no for okay. we voted for that one as a wheel. WLG crew. This was interesting. Look at this. Players' choice awards categories, and the winners were Halo Infinite <laughs> yeah, for game of the year. The players Halo. the players' choice. Voted the players wanted Halo Infinite for Game of the Year. That's which is interesting I, I, considering the amazing. game didn't come out. Thank you. Yeah, and then the rest of these make sense. Tales of Arise for Best RPG, No Replicant for Best Score of Music, Dream for Content Creators of the Year, and It Takes Two for Best Multiplayer Game. All the rest of those, mm. all the rest of those make sense. It was just the Halo Infinite one. Now, I was like, that's crazy. Now, Dream, dream for sure for content creator of the year. Yeah, dream is all the rest of these like really, really make sense. It was just yeah. the uh, Halo Infinite one that I was like, wow. Yeah. I don't know what it is, man. Like I don't know. Tales why of Arise for game. for best RPG. I don't know what else was up there though. Yeah, I think Cyberpunk. We chose actually Cyberpunk. <laughs> that was actually an option, and we chose that. But of course, we knew that wasn't gonna win. Yeah, I unfortunately, think. even though I think it's freaking awesome, I love it. I actually want to play that right now more than Halo. I want to hop back into Cyberpunk more than play more Halo Infinite. Hmm. Um, uh, did you guys want to see uh, introduces his trailer for Hideo Kojima's Nightmare Alley? Yeah, that's the day, man. Check that. I'm gonna yeah. check that one out. Good, that shit is. Once again, another blue box. Clearly, is not associated now. We know for certain the blue box. Yeah. Um, This guy, man, with his with his unique glasses frames, dude. <laughs> yeah, he got some legit ones, man. Oh, this was this is a movie. Oh, this looks no. Is it now? Oh, this isn't a game. This is a movie. is this like oh, at a carnival or something? Zero. These are like carnival people. Hmm. Oh wow. Oh wow. Oh wow. Okay. This looks dope right here. I'll definitely yeah. watch this. I'll see this movie. Yeah, I'll go see this movie. Hey, it reminds me uh, of that show, Carnival. Do you guys remember that show? Mm -mm. Carnival, no. I love that show. Now, is this a movie or a show? Because this should be a show. This is a movie. This is a movie. I feel like there's a lot of story here. William Defoe and shit. We got a little cast. Yeah, that looks cool, man. Okay, yeah, that's a that's a winner in theaters. Oh, December seventeenth. It right. comes out like next Friday. <laughs> yeah, we ain't gotta wait that long. I'm gonna have to go catch that one. You can start your vacation good there, golly. Start yeah, your vacation strong, be, right? Yeah, I'm, I think I'm going to see. Uh, oh, here we go. Best art direction. Spider Man right? on the 18th. Deathloop won best art direction. You okay. Know what's funny is I think that's the one game we didn't pick Deathloop for. That was the one category yeah. Deathloop was in that we actually didn't. I forgot in. what we picked on there. Check check the list to see what it was. It looked like you closed it, it, right? I accidentally closed it. Don't worry about that. I got it. I got it. 
I am Chris. Best art direction. <sighs> what did we choose? We chose Kenna, didn't we? Kenna. I think we chose yeah. Kenna. Or we might have chose Ratchet, actually. We might have chose Ratchet, but I think we ended up going with Kenna. But yeah, because we because we liked the way Kenna looked. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I think we chose Kenna. Because we didn't yeah. really think that. We thought it looked good, but we didn't think it was anything special. But we thought Kenna was pretty special. So that's interesting. What, Deathloop? Death Loop no, we yeah. thought Kenna was special. We didn't think Deathloop was like necessarily special. Even though we right. liked it. We didn't think right. it was like anything incredible. I give a fuck yeah. about PUBG. Go ahead, grow up. PUBG, man. Hey man, it took know. so long for it to be free to play. That's it's, it's, yeah. that's a big a deal. Game. Man's the guy's money because like, Fortnite was free. So yeah. All right, here you go. Suicide Squad, fellas. <clears throat> there you go. That looks pretty cool. I still, man, I still like. I can't. I can't square this circle, man. With what? this whole, I just don't think these guys stand up at all to the Justice League heroes, man. Hmm. Like I think they all are are they they pale in comparison to like all of them. Like the Flash came and ruined their party right there. So this one is about them hunting the Flash. This trailer. Oh, okay. Hunting the Flash. And like, and Harley Quinn is even more rose me the wrong way because she's just she's a normal person and she's out here like fighting these aliens like i don't know it's just i can't i can't have a hard time uh breaking my uh you know realism factor there besides the fact that it's a game guys yeah i mean it depends because it depends hey, man, they're Batman's telling me she's a normal human too. so huh that's the batman's a normal human mm. yeah i know i have a hard time with that Batman okay. fighting like uh, super. So they might stars. they might dead ass be giving you like everybody in the Justice League to fight. I wonder if they're just doing the like the current Justice League that's in the you know the the movie the cinematic universe, or if they're gonna give you like the big ass Justice League like you got to do everybody in that was in the Justice League or what? What are those? What are those arms attached to? Like what? What cre What creature is that? I don't know. Yeah, Batman got the guap to be able to fight these fools, but it's like, you know, is that is that Fox dude really making all this shit? <laughs> like, yeah, that's, I know it's like really hard to uh, figure this. That's what I'm just saying. I have a hard time breaking that barrier. <laughs> at least like Batman's got the guap, you know, like Stone is saying, yeah. but like. Yeah. Harley Quinn doesn't like make a lot of sense. The shark guy's fine, but the flash, I mean this, this dude is strong. Like this guy is uh, this guy would be really. I don't know how these guys have the how do these guys have the 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 uh, the, the tool bag to beat this guy. I just I yeah, just, Joe and Harley off been, like the hardest one. <laughs> Harley off that PCP man. That's where she gets her strength from. <laughs> Uh, yeah, she's one step above a random tweaker out the street, man. Like she's out there going toe to toe with the aliens. I she's she's so smoking whatever. the good shit. That's what gave her that 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 uh that that extra strength. <laughs> that looks like Jake Gyllenhaal, dude. I swear. Like whenever I see that picture, like Jake Gyllenhaal jumps in my head. Anyway, so that's uh Suicide Squad. I'm still not Charlotte. convinced, man, that they can go toe to toe with the Justice League, but we'll play it. And we'll I want to see. Yeah, yeah, I want to see. <laughs> Whatever. Whatever. <clears throat> All right. So I don't know what this is. Tichia. Um, That's the girl that uh, teleports into the different animals and stuff. Oh, this is that one? No, oh, that yes. artwork. Yeah, let's do this one. I don't need to see none one of these trailers. Unless you all do. Uh, oh, Guardians of the Galaxy won Best Narrative. The Best Story. Okay. Guys, guys, who best story? Wait, click the page real quick and see who they went after. Because I think okay. that was the only option that that Guardians of the Galaxy was on, and I think I selected it. But best narrative. I think I had you selected because I think you knew more of the games than me. So I let you uh, take. Oh, here it goes. I let you take lead on that one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Psycho yeah. Nice too. Nah. Yeah. Yeah. But I, I, I like. I thought Deathloop. That's. <laughs> 
thick, dude. Death Destroyer yeah. is a really cool idea. It was. So, um, but I think Guardians of the Galaxy is a fine winner here. I think between those two, I think that like I think that we said Deathloop. I think we, we picked Deathloop, but I said that Guardians of the Galaxy was a great story as well. You did, you but, did, yeah. But Guardians of the Galaxy story was like really good. Uh, did you? Did any of you guys pick it up? Uh, over like Black Friday. I got it for Black Friday, but I haven't played it yet. I just, I, I just oh, yeah, got yeah. it in the yeah, couple days. Yeah, your backlog is pack, piling up, bro. You got to you got to finish Biohazard yeah. and get on that shit, man. Yeah. You got to do Village I don't know what too, right? I'm gonna do, and I think I was gonna do. I was leaning towards trying to do Biohazard and then Village, but I've been really liking Cyberpunk. I've been like kind of wanting to jump back into Cyberpunk, so I'm not sure. I'm gonna do some order like that, but yeah, if you fall in the trap, you have some point finish it off by. I mean, so we got three Cyberpunk. trailers here. Um, we could skip Saints Row. Yeah, we've seen those Saints Row, right? So like a Space Marine. This is a this is a new reveal here. <coughs> I thought this trailer was pretty sick. But the gameplay, I'm not sold on. But the trailer was super sick. It looked like it was kind of cool. You know, Are you some familiar with Warhammer? Games? You guys play Warhammer? 40 yeah, I played most of the Warhammer games. It's a PC game, right? Uh, this one I think is on everything. Mm. Over the past couple of years, they've been on every uh, every platform. But I'm saying, like, it, where it originally started was like PC, right? Yeah. They were and mainly then, you know, they R- RTSs. Like that. They were yeah. mainly RTSs. It was actually a from the eighties a games workshop. It's a miniatures tabletop. Game. Tabletop. Okay, so it was a it's tabletop. A, thing a miniatures. It's a miniatures yeah, board miniatures. game. Yeah. And then it moved yeah. over to uh, RTSs, and then now it's they make games for everything. This is pretty cool though, man. Yeah. These Marines are pretty badass. They do a good job making these dudes seem pretty badass. It's like the cavalry has arrived. <laughs> Yo, with the chainsaw blade. Yeah, that's pretty cool. <laughs> what are those? Some uh, creatures from the Alien movie? No, it's just one of the races from Warhammer. Warhammer has like a bunch of races. Um, mm. You can be. These are like the uh, space green race. The blue guys. Those look really right. kick ass, man. Yeah, dude, they go cool. two swords and then they got two extra hands to choke shit with. But it's like they're they're all equal in some way, you know. But uh, yeah, the space marines are very iconic. Yeah, That's some preposterous way. That dude ripped him to shreds with his bare metal hands. Yeah, these are like superhumans, man. <clears throat> look, at, look at how small these guys are compared to the, the Neil before the space marine, man. <laughs> Neil, bitch. Just regular Joe Schmoes in there with crazy zits on their face. I mean, those are like modifications. Maybe they, they got shot. Let me show, you, show you some combat here. Yeah, smidgen, but okay. Yeah, I think I so, have the first one on Steam. Uh, but yeah, it's cool. Third X. person game. I'm thinking that's Game Pass. I got Game Pass. 